Okay, so Betty, I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna read it. So am I gonna purchase anything today? Just or read it. Read it first and then yeah. come back. I want people to make their own decisions. Okay. Uh, an educated decision. Okay. Okay, then this is your second phase here. Okay. That's formula two. Uh -huh. All right, I got that. Both pages. Okay. And uh, this is formula three, which is not exactly, but these are the two first things. It's formula one and formula two, and I could explain to you okay. how and why, but this will tell you. And okay. you can read it at your leisure. Okay, okay. And form your own opinion, and maybe you want this. I'm not sure what they have on there. I, I don't do these. Okay. But maybe that would be helpful for you. Okay, so are you saying maybe take this home or do you keep it here? You can take a picture of this and get and on his. Get, I'm not oh, sure if he yeah. has a blog anymore or not. Okay, I can do that. That's a great idea. Okay. So there you have pretty much what I have. Okay. Now, if you want, I think I do have another one. If I have one more, and you can't get these anymore. Oh, you can't? I would get a hundred and pass them out to everybody that wanted them, but they're not available. I'm sure I could get online or call. No, that would be fine. Okay. All right, and let me just kind of pan around here. He had the um, tiny car. He said three decades, 30 years. And um, they um, put him out of the office. So he just did a retreat and regroup, and now he can go work wise. Oh, wow. They don't put him down. Wow. He won't stay down. Wow. Because it works. It does work, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. He worked under Dr. Christopher mm -hmm. and learned his ways. Dr. Christopher was his mentor and he learned a lot from him, but he has also learned a lot on his own since then. Okay. So he has reformulated some of the formulas. In fact, we thought we had run out of, we make these formulas, we thought we'd run out. And uh, so I gave him Dr. Christopher's formulas and I said, use those if you want. and. If you don't like them, just bring them back until we get some more of Dr. Schultz's formula. Wow. I think every single one brought him back. Really? Wow. Every single one. Okay. Well, I thank you so much, Betty. But this is how he makes formulas. See, he fills up a canister. Mm -hmm. You only are, by law, required to do one part ways and the rest of it alcohol. And we have had people ask for our own specific formulas because the commercial ones don't work. And we fill ours up too. So you do your own formulas? We do many of our own. Wow. But we can't put them on the shelf. You can't. So the law has decreed that we cannot put ours on the shelf. So how do we get it? How do we purchase it? You just it? ask what you want. Okay. Ask for what you want. And, okay. Uh, and we'll find it. Okay. Wonderful. Cheers, that. A filet knife. It's a filet knife for doing um, deer, deer meat and uh, fish. Fish. Mm -hmm. uh, it is 28 28.90. That's sure a good it's price. Probably, well, it's probably ten dollars more now. I've had this for a while. Well, whatever can price. I, I no, that's it. Twenty-eight ninety. Okay. I was preparing um, rooster meat and doing poultry, and uh, my neighbour had a one of those big choppers, mm -hmm. and uh, he was doing the chopping, and he chopped the tip of my knife off. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Did you tell him that's fine? Just give me another one. I didn't. I didn't. But um, I'm coming down here, and you have one here. That's a nice knife. That's a beautiful fish filet knife. I'll tell mm -hmm. you what I use for a chicken butchering knife. It's this one. Okay. It's short and sturdy. Is that the mm -hmm. Rada? It's there. These are all Rada. Yeah, the, I love Rada knives. And it's got little sharpness in it, honey. I love that. Okay, That's a good price. Well, they're tired now. See, this is 
they have now encased them and you can't see as well what they're like or well, you can't see what they're like so i have put these in here pretty much in this order mm -hmm. well, this mm -hmm. is your little grandmother's knife mm -hmm. and um but this is the one i really like this is a heavier duty yeah this is still heavier Mm -hmm. But I like this one. That's, I used to do this one, but now I like the shorter, sturdier mm -hmm. blade. Wow. I have a, quite a few rata knives. I really like they them. They last longer than we do them. Mm -hmm. They do. Very don't... nice. Very nice. Yeah, see, he had one of these. And, oh, he, cleaver, boom, and he chopped the end of the knife off. It was like, okay. <laughs> They're sharp, aren't they? <laughs> yes, the cleaver's very heavy, too. It was his grandma's. Oh, it was not a rata. It wasn't a rata. Oh, it was an original grandma... I don't know, USA made. He said he's had it for 30 years. A heavy hickory. Well, 30 years is not that long. Well, not when you're 70 years old. Maybe it was older than that. <laughs> <laughs>